following presentation is solely for entertainment purposes and not to be taken seriously. While content and characters may be based in truth, this presentation is not meant to offend or harm in any way. Howdy, y'all. It's Ollie Billy Bob Brown, America's favorite thrill billy. Woo I'm sure glad you came to visit. It's been a bit lonely for someone like yours truly up here in this house. Uh. I know y'all probably can't see me right now. It's because I'm up past my ears, buried underneath all this stuff. Let me out of here! My house is filled up, wall to wall, with everything I need to be a stay-at-home thrill bit. Yes! But if you can make your way inside, I'm happy to visit with you. Come on in. Can I offer you some water or some TP? <laughs> been telling me that we should make sure we have enough supplies on hand in the cupboards, closets, and anywhere else you can store it. And I'm like, why? Why do we need all these supplies like water and toilet paper and canned goods? Oh, I can figure on having a few extras around the house, but why get more than you need? I don't want to be no hoarder. I sure don't. Can't walk through my house that way. Then I figured it out. It's because of this social distancing thing that I mentioned last time I gave that you. You got it. That who in the CDC want to keep folks fur enough apart to prevent that coronavirus from passing itself on. Mm-hmm. So here's what you do. You get yourself a bunch of water, TP, and canned goods, and you stack them up one on top of the other. You build yourself a little fort, and that way you can barricade yourself inside the fort away from other people. If you build these barrier walls, you slow down the virus, or so I think. It's kind of like the boy living in that plastic bubble. Mm -hmm. All this explains why the stores are selling out of stuff before you know it, and how they have bare shelves everywhere. It means they've done good business for themselves. Unlike them shoe stores where the shoes are always on the shelf. Do you ever notice they always have sales, but every time you walk by, there are still shoes everywhere? I can't figure out how they can stay in business when they don't even look like they're trying to sell any shoes. I guess that's just shoe business, but I digress. Yes! Now, besides becoming a stalker of supplies, I also have been a-thinking on this staying inside the house all the time situation. Well, I remember when I was a young and my mama would offer me a quarter to go outside and play in the road. That or she locked me out of the house. Back then I wanted to go inside, but nowadays I think it'd be more like being cooped up like a chicken or going stir crazy if I were to stay inside all day and night. Not good if you're claustrophobic. Ooh. <laughs> what do you do with yourself? I mean, if you're six feet apart, there are some things you just can't do together. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> no shaving water by showering together, no warm fuzzies, and definitely no hanky-panky. Uh-uh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Outside of being by yourself, I suppose you can play cards or board games and watch the boob tube like you're doing right now. You can watch silly old thrillbillies like yours truly do goofy things like singing a new song or a message for his answering machine or karaoke. Yup or doodle. Here, let me show you what I mean. Take a peek at this video. Howdy, y'all. Well, you're probably wondering why I didn't make it here in time to get your call, y'all. But I was taking a bath and got caught running naked in the hall. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I got arrested for exposure and indecency, don't you know? <laughs> I did. So you'll have to leave your message just as soon as I find time to beat the town. Okay, y'all, you know what to do. <laughs> Let me tell you, I get a lot of fun messages on my machine because of that. I sure do. <laughs> oh, boy, what can I say? No matter what is going on out there in the world of funny business, you got to make sure you keep safe, find your happy and your joy, and have some fun. I know I sure will. <laughs> now, before I go, I want to share a little silly wheelie music video with you, too. One I put together a few years back. I got this old music video I did back when I was running for the president. Now, if I'm not cracking stupid jokes or singing or making observations, I might be dancing like in this here video. <laughs>
laughing my ass off. <laughs> no matter what you're thinking, that's too funny for words. <laughs> I think I wet my pants. <laughs> Gonna have to dry off now. <laughs> Y'all go out there and do it to it, folks. We'll get together again next time, and if we got nothing better to do, I'll show everyone how to cut that rug. <laughs> but until then, y'all have a good bye-bye. <laughs>